Hi everybody, this is a quick tutorial to show you how to use breakout rooms in Zoom. So I'm going to click on the More button at the bottom of my screen. And I'm going to select Breakout Rooms. Next, I'm going to select the number of participants or breakout rooms that I want to create, and I can do it automatically or sort manually. For today's purposes, I'm going to sort manually. I'm going to click on Create Breakout Rooms, and now I'm going to assign my students to a room. I can also create different names for the breakout rooms, so if maybe you want to have some fun with naming your breakouts, for your groups, or you just assign. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to assign Jackie, John, and Thomas to the starfish group. When I finish with that, then I go to my next group and I'm going to assign Jane, Thomas's iPad, and Vivian to the next group. Now you can see that I have three participants. Next, I'm going to go to the options link located on the lower left corner of the screen. When I click on that, I can check the check boxes for the settings that I want. Move all participants into breakout rooms automatically allows the students to go directly into the breakout rooms. If you do not check this, they have the option of saying no. It will pop up and give them a little notice and sa that says, do you want to add yourself to the breakout room yet? If you check the check mark, it moves them all automatically so they don't have that choice. I recommend leaving it checked so that you can just get them into the breakout rooms. Allow participants to return to the main session at any time will allow them to come back into your main room. If you'd like to take a quick break while they're doing their group work, you may want to uncheck the checkbox so that they can only come back to the main room when you bring them back in. The breakout rooms close automatically after a certain period of time. You can put in your minute usage there, 15, 10, 30, or just in this case, for today's purposes, we're going to do one minute. Notify me when the time is up and allow countdown after closing the break room. Set the countdown. I usually like to set it for 10 seconds so that it's easier to see. Once you're finished with that, just click back to the regular window and click on Open All Rooms. If you notice, before we add everyone to the rooms, you can also add an additional room if someone adds to the class late. Now, participants, are you ready to go to your breakout rooms and work in your groups? All ready. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, the students in my classroom are starting to leave the breakout room. I can also join the room to see what my students are doing when they're in their groups. So let's click on the Join button, and we'll join the Starfish group and see how they're doing. You can see that it closes my main room and takes me directly into the group room. Hi there, Starfish group. How's it going? Hi, Valerie. Everything's going just fine. It's, uh, it's uh, going really well. Um, we're just getting together and talking about uh, how to use Zoom. Fantastic. I'm going to go back out into my main room and join the other room now. Thanks, Have Valerie. fun. And I'm going to return to the main session. You can see it actually takes me out of that session and brings me back into the main session. One word of caution, if you select leave meeting, this actually means that you're going to leave the meeting completely, not just the breakout room. 
So you want to make sure that you're selecting the return to main session when you leave your pop out, pop in breakouts. To pop into breakout sessions when you have been requested, just click join the breakout room. If you want to pop into breakout rooms and your dialog box is not up on the screen, just click the more button at the bottom and select breakout rooms and which one that you want to join. Since I've been asked to help in the fish breakout room, I'm going to click join the breakout room session. Now it's telling me that the time limit is up. So do I want to keep the break rooms open or do I want to close them now? I'm going to keep them open for just another moment because I'd like to join the other meeting. So once everyone is in the meeting, if you would like, you can broadcast a message to all just by clicking on this little link at the bottom of the breakout room meeting screen and you can send them all a message. So now you're ready to close all your rooms. So you're going to click on the close all rooms button. And within a couple of seconds, everyone will start to come back into your main room.